Hello, my friend. This is Jack. We are the patent machine ring die manufacturer. We offer various ring dies for different patent machines. Our company have successively invested in purchasing advanced production and processing equipment, including for access, teep hole gun drills, CNC horizontal and face slates, CNC hobbing machines and more, to ensure that the quality of our ring die meets international advanced standards. We provide high-quality pellet mill dies for CPM, Buller, Yulon, Andritz and other companies throughout the year. We will show our pellet machine, ring dime, manufacturing process step by step for you. Firstly, we will purchase high-quality formable steel, which undergoes sawing and cutting to produce blanks for ring dime manufacturing. The cut mold iron blocks are subjected to a high temperature of 1200 degrees for decarburization. Heating not only enhances the metal's plasticity, allowing it to withstand significant deformation without cracking, but also reduces the deformation resistance of the metal, greatly minimizing the force required for forging. At the same time, the fogings undergo significant deformation within an appropriate temperature range, leading to recrystallization. This process results in the formation of fine grains and a well-organized structure in that fogings, thereby improving their mechanical properties. Heating is an indispensable and crucial step in the production of hot forging. The third step in mold production is to use a rolling ring machine to compress the mold, shaping it into the approximate external dimensions and meeting rough processing standards. The fourth step is to conduct normalizing heat treatment on the ring die to reduce hardness. The fifth step is to allow the heat treated ring die to undergo natural cooling. The sixth step involves rough machining the ring die using a CNC lathe to shape the ring die contour dimensions. The seventh step involves using a precision CNC lathe to perform fine machining on the ring die, creating the final contour of the die. The eighth step involves using a for-axis deep hole gun drill to drill holes in the ring die. We use BOTK drill bits imported from Germany to ensure the smoothness of the inner holes of the ring die, ensuring smooth discharge of the pellets. The ninth step involves modifying the compression ratio of the ring die, adjusting it to a suitable compression ratio for pellet making. The ring die compression ratio directly impacts the pellet's formability and production yield, making it a critical parameter. In ring die making, the tenth step is send the ring die to heat treatment once again. Different raw materials need different heat treatment processes. For example, 20 Krumti, aloe steel should undergoes carburizing heat treatment, 
and X for 6 CR13. Stainless steel should undergo vacuum heat treatment. After the heat treatment process, the ring die exhibit increased wear resistance and extended lifespan. The 11th step involves drilling lifting holes in the ring die to facilitate the lifting and installation of the ring die. The 12th step is to inspect the processed ring die to ensure it meets the required accuracy, guaranteeing dimensional tolerances of the ring die. The final step involves applying rust-proof oil on the surface of the ring die, wrapping it with nylon film for additional protection, and securely packaging it in plywood boxes. This ensures the safe transportation of the ring die during shipping. If you want to make pellets more efficiently for biomass pellets and feed pellets, contact with us really.